When I first registered for Charter College, I wasn't really sure what to make of the school. I had spent so much time in a community college environment, I wasn't sure if I was going to adjust well to a environmental, or excuse me, a vocational environment. Considering I've been out of school for about five to six years. As the first day of school approached, I was a little bit apprehensive of who my instructors were. Will I even like their teaching style? And will I even like them? I remember the door opening and a petite woman came walking through with a warm, inviting smile. My name is Ms. Cruz and this is Anatomy and Physiology. All I could think about was this is going to be a refresher course, but it ended up being a little bit of a challenge. I can remember Ms. Cruz telling the class that the, co that the course material is about one semester long of information condensed in a five week program. So you need to stay on top of your assignments or you'll fall behind. The first notion came to mind was, oh crap. <laughs> what the heck did I sign up for? But the next thing I knew, the five weeks had gone by so fast and the first mod was over. As the second mod began, I was a little bit more prepared on what to expect from the first mod, but I wasn't sure about my instructor for medical terminology. I can remember a man walked into the room with a clean cut look and an attitude, I run a tight ship. And he introduced himself as Mike Woodfin. I remember Mr. Wood, Mr. Woodfin saying that this class wasn't going to be easy and some of the medical terms consist of Greek and Latin roots. All I kept thinking is I don't know Greek and I sure don't know Latin. I barely know enough Spanish just to get by. Mr. Woodfin turned out to have a laid back attitude and he had this philosophy. I'm not here to stress you out. I'm here to push you to become the best that you can be. The point of my story is that if you set your mind to a goal, you can achieve almost anything in life. Don't let people, don't let people tell you that you're not going to make changes in the world. I tell myself I have become the best that I can be so much more in the world I can conquer. Don't give up on your dreams. We can become medical assistants to registered nurses, medical billers and coders to the directors of medical and billing and coding, the pharmacy technicians to pharmacists. If you can overcome the little challenges in life, the big challenges we come across won't be so hard to achieve after all. Harriet Tubman once quoted, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength the patience and the passion to reach the stars and change the world.